Palaroga Shark Media. Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. About once a week, we like to take a look at the media fawning over how wonderful Kate is. The Toronto Star wrote, How Kate saved the Royals Christmas, doing what she does best. With respect to Her Festive Majesty Mariah Carey, the moment may have come to crown a new Queen of Christmas, Catherine, Princess of Wales, who is here with jingle bells on to bring the festive cheer this holiday season. Last Friday, Kate hosted her marquee event, the third annual Together at Christmas Carols concert. It has a worthy mission celebrating all those who work to support babies, young children and families in our communities, and will be aired on British Network ITV on Christmas Eve. The concert was held at an evergreen festooned Westminster Abbey, the sort of inherently atmospheric location a Hallmark producer would kill for. Seasonal tunes were sung, candles were lit, Prince William gave a reading, and children's author and 2023 children's laureate Joseph Colo contributed a poem. Her children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, made a relatively rare appearance, stopping on their way in at a red mailbox to drop off cards they'd made for kids who might be having a tough time this holiday season. This is the sort of thing Kate excels at, the smiling blandness that she is sometimes critiqued for is pitch perfect for this season of fuzzy warmth and generalised goodwill to all. This is the hot cocoa with marshmallows of royal events. Palatable, sweet, warming, and Kate its gracious hostess. No boundaries were pushed, no challenging ideas tackled. It was just nice, a pleasant pause in the maelstrom. Adam Lambert was one of the performers at the wonderful concert and told people about it. Adam said, I had the honour of meeting Catherine, Princess of Wales. She invited the performers she wanted to see at the service. It was lovely to visit with her before we performed. Describing Westminster Abbey, Lambert said it was very still, which added a calmness to my energy. The song felt sort of like a lullaby. I've always loved history and old architecture, and this is sort of my sweet spot. I was able to walk around a little bit after my rehearsal and just kind of take a little self-guided tour of some of the areas inside at the Abbey, and it's just breathtaking. And the amount of history in here is nuts, Lambert says. You know you have the tombs of monarchs and poets and other iconic historical figures, so it's pretty wild. It's such an honour to be performing at the Westminster Abbey, a place that I've seen on television and photos for years, but I've never been to myself, so it's quite breathtaking. I performed for the Royals during the Queen's Jubilee, but they were quite far away on the other side of the crowd, so this will sort of be up close and personal and hopefully bring Christmas cheer to people that tune in on Christmas Eve. Vanity Fair fawned over Kate's recent outing with the children, writing, Time and time again, Kate Middleton and Prince William have stressed how important it is to them to give their kids as normal a childhood as possible, despite their unique stations in life as the second, third and fourth in line for the throne. The Princess of Wales took her three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, along with her in November, to spend an evening volunteering at a baby bank in Maidenhead, Berkshire, not far from the family's residence in Windsor. The group engaged in the time-honoured tradition of giving back to the community during the holiday season, packing pyjamas for children whose lives have been impacted by poverty, as well as assembling holiday gift bags for the families helped by the baby bank. In a video released by Kensington Palace, Kate tells the children, Here there's lots of people who give up their time and there's lots of volunteers who help out, and so you're the volunteers for this evening. In the video we see Louis delighting in the large King Kong action figure and exclaiming, This is a big guy! Palace Intrigue will be right back. Prince William is reportedly developing a comprehensive plan for modernising the monarchy once he succeeds King Charles. An extremely well-informed source has shared details about this plan, which includes a series of significant changes. The plan, reported by The Express, consists of five key points, aims to streamline the monarchy and adapt it to contemporary sensibilities. These changes include giving up the Commonwealth, Prince William is considering a reduced focus on the Commonwealth. He has previously expressed an open-minded approach about the future leadership of the Commonwealth, suggesting it may not necessarily involve the royal family. Fewer royal patronages. The plan involves reducing the number of patronages, focusing more on quality than quantity. A focus on the Wales family. The emphasis will shift to the Wales family, scaling back the involvement of the wider royal family in public duties, Fewer royal engagements. The plan includes cutting down on the number of royal engagements, opting for engagements that are more impactful and meaningful, and frugality in mind. Less formality, scaled down coronations and ceremonies in line with a more modern approach. 
The sources have mentioned that the royal families of the Netherlands and Sweden have influenced William and Kate, showing them that a more focused, homegrown approach on a smaller scale can be successful. Moreover, the source revealed that Prince William envisions a monarchy without Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, focusing instead on the Wales family. King Charles recently experienced a light-hearted moment during his visit to the ailing Broadway Christmas market, where he was humorously informed that he had made it onto Father Christmas's nice list. The king responded to this news with his characteristic dry humour, saying, Well, you never know, you can try. Keith Flaherty, the performer dressed as Father Christmas, spoke with the Daily Mail after the king's departure. He expressed his delight at King Charles being on the nice list and praised the monarch's character. What a lovely man he is. We really had no idea he was coming. Honestly, what a good sport he is. What a delightful man. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please follow us on Spotify or Apple, or if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace in Dream. Good times. Thank you.